Do we watch the man Zombie Who's 45 minute evolution of Call of Duty Zombies from World at War to Black Ops Cold War? I've actually been watching a bunch of his videos. I'm even subbed, dude. He actually posts a ton of good videos. So, boys, if you like zombies, check this man out. He's got some interesting opinions. COD Mobile Zombies is coming back. Oh, hell no. Or the Gersh's. Built from passion, let's go! World of War! Customs! World of Duty, World of War. A project that already ah. seemed doomed to fail because of how much fans had fallen in love with Infinity Ward's modern approach in the previous year's Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Dude, Yet true. Treyarch had been tasked with creating another World War II Dude. shooter. One that inst what if COD 4 had zombies and there was literally no such thing as Treyarch and they'd never made zombies but COD 4 was the first one to do it bro could you imagine chat that'd be insane did borrowed some wow. multiplayer I never ideas seen like in Infinity Ward's title but stuck with the 1940 setting that Call of Duty had become known for in its first three entries whilst creating Boo, this game mode however something strange happened Whilst Whoa. in their motion capture studio, the team were recording movements of enemy soldiers shortly after being stunned by the concussive shock of nearby bombs dropping. According to Dude, that would be a sick job, chat. Imagine if you got motion captured to be a zombie in Call of Duty Zombies. That's the best job ever, bro. You literally are a zombie for a living, bro. That's and sick. Bunting, who was the multiplayer Mr. game Dan? director at the Hello? time, the developers felt this looked still there, by the way, Dan. To a zombie. Crazy. And so they decided to just let the actors continue Dude. to act like zombies whilst they captured the movements. And That's this led the team to end up conceiving the idea of a zombies mode. I never knew it According was that. According to Jimmy Zielinski, a That's track cool, employee, though. however, <laughs> him and fellow developer Jesse Snyder Rest in peace, boys. had Epson already chat. had the idea of zombies beforehand oh, and, and Jesse the actors Snyder. during the motion capture sessions to act like zombies deliberately. So the exact <laughs> specifics of who came up with the idea Yo, of having like zombies be the enemies specifically is unknown. Dude. Jesse Snyder had already been working on ideas for a cooperative mode to be featured in this game because Treyarch had decided they wanted something else, aside from just campaign and multiplayer. Snyder ended up incorporating the I ideas love how they for made zombies it that had been campaign. conceived into his cooperative mode. Yeah. So, as you can see, it was entirely a passion project at Treyarch. Something they made because they True. wanted to. Let's go, Treyarch! Drake in the chat, baby! Not because Coming in clutch, baby! Let's go, Treyarch! No, this was something Woo. they wanted to create because it could be fun. They decided to use some of the geometry they had in a multiplayer map, and then in people's spare time, zombie noises and Dude. the zombie models were created. Chat, everyone's always like, wow, they took zombie maps from multiplayer maps, but literally every single World at War zombies map is a multiplayer map. From things that people threw together when they could, even after working long shifts during crunch time. Then the team finished Zombies the is mode, like the scrap of the scrap. Corky, let's go! Said, it's great. And I can't put it down. But Mr. How the Cork, hell are we going to? We the current director. Do this. Then the Activision executives came over what to play, God. and each of them, one by one, sat down and played it. And they At were this like, point, Yo. the mode was basically the nectar and totem that we all know and love. This with is a crazy. System and fully functioning wave counter. Yep. The Activision executives loved it, but were worried that it was going to distract players from the campaign and multiplayer modes wow. that Call of Duty was known for. Guys, could. Could you realize that if zombies didn't come in two, uh, like come out in 2008, I feel like PC and cancel culture would have literally made it never come out. That's crazy to think about. Zombies has such a big possibility of never existing. And so they no way Activision execs in 2021 would be like, yo, let's put zombies in. But now they do, dude. Let's go, chat. Drake's in the chat. Themselves. They didn't want it to be marketed yes, at all. Yes, dude. Let's go. They didn't go. want it to even be seen when That's you beat up the game. They wanted That's it to be something right that you unlocked right at the end after beating the yes, campaign. Sir. Then, or you of just course, buy Call of Duty. The game World. released 
and players fell in love with this mode, the same way the Trout developers did when creating it. And so, as the DLC season progressed, the team decided to see whether the community would play more of these maps. Yes, and they did. Sir. The community followed Treyarch's passion, and the mode ended up- Chat! Am I right by this? Do most zombie players not play campaign or multiplayer? I feel like that's the truth. I feel like COD Zombies is so unrelated to Call of Duty at this point. I don't know, boys. I just want Fall Guys, yo. Let's get a drink in the chat for Lucas. Developing a massive fan base. Throughout Nactar and Toten and the first DLC map, Verrucked, Verrucked started thinking of stories themselves and thinking of ideas about what could be going on inside this zombies universe. They wanted to know why things were happening, who was responsible for creating the zombies, who were the characters that we played as in these different areas. And then Shino Numa came out, bro. It was out, entirely <laughs> a passion project. There was no voice acting in this mode. Dude. However, as people latched onto it and it was clear that a demand was there, Chat, it was funny. I actually had to talk about uh, this with my girlfriend, and it's like they chose a white guy to voice Tokyo. Just think about that. Just think about that for a second, chat. Because I can guarantee you in 2021, that would never have been the case, chat. And it's so interesting that that is what they decided to do. Think about it. Think about it, dude. Think about it. Activision gave Don tweet about that. It's, it's the truth, Steve though. Bloom, it's the truth. Your, what? Tom this Kane, is exactly what I'm Nolan saying. Tom North Kane was talking. Playable characters that would continue. He's great. Darius is a masterclass chat. I don't care what you say or if you don't like it. But I'm on Darius, baby. That's what I'm saying, War. boys. When it came time to develop Call of Duty, we're going back in the BO1. Was unsure whether the mode would return, and if it came back or not Bruh. would depend entirely on whether or not develop of Black Ops went smoothly. Could you imagine if zombies never return from World at War? I wouldn't chat. I literally, if it never returned, I literally would not be streaming right now. Wow, boys! Shout out to Black Ops One for that. Towards dude. the end of World shout at War's Black DLC Ops One season, Treyarch could plan Holy. to release a zombies-only map pack, which would feature a yes. theater map, a coastal map, Resurrection. and a map that takes place in Paris. Sadly, at this point, Paris. Oh no! Campaign of Boys, F's in the chat so for the Paris map. The idea map. was scrapped, but they'd uh, already started to work on all of this, so it would be a shame for those resources to so be wasted. So sad, dude. Instead of releasing a fourth map pack for World at War, those ideas ended up being reused to create the zombies content that we see Which, for Black Ops. In my opinion, and I know a lot of people don't like this, that was an excellent idea. Because I actually never got to play the World at War maps until they came out on Black Ops 1. So the let's go Treyarch, dude. Had been developed let's most. go Treyarch. So Who's in Paris? This would be the first map to feature in the game. Because it was built in a world that Nikolai was Nikolai Tokyo Dempsey. It meant that some of the gameplay refinements the track made to zombies were not present on this experience. Things such as a max ammo refilling your magazine and the death machine power-up, for example. Ooh, yes. Five, the second on Five. this pack for Black Ops, was essentially the yes. first real map made for the game. Chat, is Five the first map ever with a cutscene in Zombies? It is, is it not? It is. Oh my god, I just realized it actually is. Wow. Well, oh, knocked. I, okay, I guess knocked. Yeah, I guess. If you could even call that a cutscene, it's more of like one scene. And the first map to I guess. be created under the influence of the new creative and design director of Zombies, Jimmy Zielinski. A role that had been Jimmy Z, dude. by Activision. Yes, Up sir. to this point, he was just one of the members of the Zombies team. But it wasn't until this And point, Blundell was, was also working at the leading time. the project. The yeah. executives of Activision felt that the base game needed some more Zombies content. Need that juice. And they wanted a map that would be tied closely to the Black Ops narrative. And so it was decided that this map would be based in the Pentagon, reusing assets yeah. from the campaign yes. and using the same voice actors. Which was a great idea. Which was a great anyway, idea because you couldn't play the in the Pentagon in, in the new campaign. new cast of characters without any additional money being spent. This map really did show players just how much Trail could refine the mechanics of the mode since World at War. That Gone was the clunky feel, the slow aim down sight time, and the awkward way you would stick to a zombie Dude. when knifing it. 
now. That is true. He does bring up that Black Ops 1 was the first game that really got rid of like that big clunky Panzer Shrek or the Browning. Boys, y'all remember running two miles an hour back in World of War? I don't either. Zombies That's what I'm saying, Black Ops 1, boys. And Let's everything go. just felt really great. <laughs> Slaying hordes of the undead was even more satisfying than ever, and it was clear that this is the yes, zombies that Trump always wanted to give us. And when the game released, fans loved this mode even BO1 more. BO1 was. Than World at War. I feel the release of chat. What was more popular, BO1 or World at War? I feel like most people got into zombies either in BO1, BO2, or maybe BO3. But I was a BO1 gamer. Modern Warfare 2 in 2009, 100%. and then Black Ops in 2010, had seen the Call of Duty franchise grow massively. And it was yes, one of, sir. if not the biggest franchise on the planet at this time. I, I, so Literally, and he does not exaggerate that. Like, I know that's a bold statement, but no. Dude, when, with the release of Syndicate's video, which also now is apparently forged, his Syndicate 100... Round 115, apparently. Who knows if that's really true, right? It People are saying it was modded, but I don't know. I don't know about the facts. But regardless, what that video did for the community is undeniable. When Black Ops 1 released, so cool. and its zombies mode was right there on the main menu, ready to play whenever you wanted. Yes, More sir. people than ever before were trying it out and falling in love. Yes, Kino sir. Totem had all of the innovations that maps such as Shinonuma and Doris had brought to the table in World at War's DLC season, such as the Hellhounds ah, and Pack-a-Punch. the classic and Kino, man. With the atmosphere, the characters, the perks, and the gameplay. This is something that people continue to enjoy with the release of Ascension as well. The first map in Black Ops 1's DLC. Has Zombies lost the personality it had since BO1? Yes or no, chat? This season. I feel like this a lot of people might say yes. Before the game released, I think I'm a yes or It was originally two. intended to be the main map that released. You don't see one. this. And while this know? one is seen as a classic, it was created with a similar amount of resources. Thank God Ascension wasn't released as, uh, as the on disc map. Much people were loving zombies, they Thank let God. Trout go all out. Yeah. So they did. DLC 2 saw four massive oh celebrity actors and the man who created zombies, George Romero. In Call of Duty, which is business. crazy, boys. Boys, f in the chat for George. F in the chat. Mode. The but hype for this map dude. was unreal. People were so yeah, excited. Dude, they even got this Merle point, from Walking Dead. It was a without massive a doubt, deal on Treyarch, and they were on yeah. zombies. They were on this was a fire at this point. What yeah. the map did not resonate with all fans after it released. Excuse me. Which fans? Which fans did not resonate? Which fans does not resonate with Call of the Dead? Which, who is it? Who is it up? Oh, dude, I'm coming. Which fucking fans, dude? Which fucking fans did not resonate with Call of the Dead? Which ones did not resonate with Call of the I'm watching you, chat. I'm fucking watching you, dude. It was still clear, you, without a shadow of a doubt, that Zombies was here to stay. As the season of content continued, Trout got more and more ambitious, evolving their small easter egg side quest that had been introduced on World at War's Doris to now be a main aspect of each map. The third D is Call of Duty's Easter egg great? Yes or no? DLC map it's a yes, dude. Shangri -La it's a yes. Told the tale of two and Shang's Easter egg is great, known too. as Brock and Gary, and their attempts to escape from a time loop which had been trapped in. This map, however, was created by Raven Software, not Treyarch. The really? Final map in the season, however, I have no idea. Wait, how does he all? How does he know that? Also, chat. I have exclusive details from Treyarch about Shangri La that I've shared already, but I'm gonna share it again for the purpose of this video. Shangri La was supposed to be the very first map where people were able to swim in. You know the waterfall area? I was talking to Treyarch when I was at their studio during Chronicles, and I remember them telling me that they couldn't actually program the swimming in Shangri La, but that whole area. Like, probably up until where you open the door at the top near the bridge was supposed to be filled with water.
And I think that would have been sick, man. Was Moon. That would have been and sick. And this saw Treyarch and then with the Moon. story to a whole other level. Never and forget the trailer the main and Shen. playable characters recruiting <laughs> program swimming until BO4, bro. Plan to blow up the Earth. Or which, BO3. if the player completes the Easter egg, is a success. And then yes, suddenly, sir. Rick Toffin ends up... So uh, you know what? For the purpose of this video, uh, I'm actually a Moon hater. Because this map, I'm playing Voyage bodies with Samantha Maxis, the girl who was introduced into Reese and was the one controlling the zombies, meaning that suddenly Moon Rick Toffin is the one in charge. It's insane. Come over on, the man. course of Come 10 on. maps, the mode went from a bare bones horde mode to a narrative rich experience with quests that you can complete. I feel like BO1 also has so much iconicism the job for World with it. Oh, was massive. Oh. Zombies was refined. More maps than ever <coughs> been released, and celebrities featured in it. Oh Jimmy God! Zelensky now wanted to take zombies oh, to a stop. whole new level. One that essentially oh. made it its entire own game within oh. a game. The main zombies map what would be a this? huge, massive open world, filled to the brim with things to do. Filled to the brim with things to do. Did we play the same map? Be curious to discover. Easter egg to solve. It would take place on the apocalyptic Earth that had just been blown up after the events of Moon. I don't and think would feature so, regular dude. civilians trying to survive in this zombie infested world. Zelinsky's idea was to build a massive map titled Green Run, and on that map, multiple game modes would be playable. A transit dude. would be the open world experience. I wish even half the of them came out, man. At your own leisure while discovering the secrets and completing the narrative quest. I wish survival would be a one in the chat. If you remember, rest in peace turned, rest in peace grief boys, rest in peace the eight player lobbies boys. One in the chat. More traditional oh. zombies experience featuring simpler maps, Makes more akin to Kino Numa, Doris, or Kino de Toten from previous games. Grief would be a competitive mode where two teams of four could try and outlast each other to see who where was the winner. is it bring turn it back was a mode please. where one player would be a zombie and would try and turn everyone else into a zombie before the time runs out and the yes, other sir. players would have to try and survive until the end of the timer to win race was a game mode where two teams would be in different lanes and would have to charge up doors with zombie souls trying to reach the end of their path before the other one does bro that sounds like so much fun why was that never released bro town oh phelps is going wild this is the one zombies map he knows <laughs> Meat was a mode where you'd be trying to throw rotten flesh. Oh, anybody playing play meat, dude? On the other side of a anybody fence. playing meat, now, dude? Little's known about this one. However, it looked almost like tennis based on the That's images me. That we can see of it in the game files. That's me. I'm playing Jimmy meat. Jimmy Zelinsky's vision was for the base game to have all of these different game modes and ways of playing. And Transit was just intended to be the beginning. Every single map released in the DLC season would see this concept expanded. Oh, Done. I really wish. I wish they went, uh, they let Zelensky do it. But dude, honestly, I feel like Zelensky chat. He was too ahead of his time. He was too big brain. He was he was already thinking open world zombies like Outbreak has in Black Ops Cold War, but like it just wasn't possible on the fucking the 360. Bruh, this man's saying, boys, we're going to get Xbox 360 gamers, three, an Xbox 360 to have an open... No, sir. I no, sir. Had more maps to play these Xbox modes on, and so would Mob of the Dead, Buried, and Origins. But sadly, <laughs> Jimmy's vision no. was just too great. It was too In big. the limited time that Triarch had, with the limited resources they had for the zombies, PS3, what he wanted dude. was just unattainable. It meant the final product we got was honestly a bit of a mess. Transit was a very frustrating map to play, mainly True. because it wasn't finished. And the Transit Round 100 project was far too ambitious for the consoles that it was releasing on. Fog had to be added like to the that. map so the players couldn't see everything loading in. <laughs> Lava had to be added in oh far greater quantities than what was originally planned oh to slow the player down so that they couldn't <sighs> access areas before they were loaded in. And this was also oh the intention God. of the denizens. All of the most frustrating aspects of this map were added in because of the technical limitations of the hardware they were Dude. working with. That, combined with the fact that loads of their planned content were scrapped, meant that what we were left with is just not fun. 
Luckily, however, the survival maps managed to get released, and they were fun. And this was Phelps. Now's your time. Town's coming in, dude. <laughs> the saving grace of Black Ops 2. Town became a fan favorite Let's experience. Let's go, dude. Town, boys. Is the most played Let's go. In Black Ops 2 zombies at pretty much any time. Woo! Grief was also released. And whilst it did get a bit boring after a while, the concept was still Please. fun. And it was good to have a competitive way of playing the mode. As well as transit, luckily, a bonus survival map was also tied to a purchase of Bless the Black Ops 2 people. Season Pass or the hardened edition of the game. Nuketown, oh, Nuketown. Zombies. Oh, sorry, this map <laughs> the same design philosophy <laughs> as Bus Depot, Farm oh, and Town. Yeah, well, the is three green run survival maps. It was made to be a simple, truly, chat, and I say this with my whole heart, the worst map ever, Nuketown Zombies. But somehow still better than Alpha Omega. Fun challenge to see how far you could get with the resources that you had. The rough state in which Black Ops 2 launched saw Jimmy Zelensky come under no a shot from yes, fellow developers sir, at Treyarch. And they had a falling out with several colleagues over the course of Black Ops 2's development dude. and its DLC season. Yes, the rough state in which the game <laughs> also resulted in fellow Treyarch employees. You guys just see that man do the dolphin dive? Hold on a second. Several colleagues over the course of Black Ops 2's development. Look at this boy. Look, look, look at this boy. The rough state <laughs> in which the game launched also resulted in fellow Treyarch employee Jason Blundell having to step in. As the there he is. Director there he for is. Two of the DLC maps, Mob of the Dead and, and Origins. Origins. Him and several employees got to work on those two maps, whilst Jimmy Zielinski and his team finished off the development of Dive Rise and Buried, as well as the turn game mode, and also- I wish we had that BO2 development cycle where we had two teams working on two maps each. Oh my god. Like, literally, that's why BO2 has a lot of iconic zombies maps. And that's why they're so good and they have such a level of depth, man. Put out it's extra the maps for it, it's the as truth. Well as grief. Because of the two different creative visions at play, it resulted in the DLC season feeling very inconsistent in tone. But it was Dye fun! Rise and Buried were very much classic Zelinsky maps. He focused yeah. on creating a fun sandbox for the player to survive in, which was very much his style. Yep. Jason Blundell's maps, however, put a heavier emphasis on narrative than what had previously been seen, which mm. is something that a large amount of the Zombies community enjoyed at that time, one in, one in the chat, if you nutted when you played Mob of the Dead or Origins, I will, uh... Look at all that, look at all that nut. This is something that Blundell's style really played into. He put the Wait, lore oh, oh, there we go. at the forefront, and whilst gameplay was still something you valued to a point, it wasn't the main focus of his style like it was with Zelinsky. Ah, uh, but it, it was, was though. It was story two, and gameplay. A shake-up, a track was needed, and yep. it was coming, but not for a bit. And there he is, BO3 chat! had firmly established zombies as a core part what is of this? their games at this point. However, Call of Duty had now Wait, what moved is this? from a two year development cycle to a three year development cycle. Wait, what is this? There would now be two years in between track titles without any zombies. And Activision were keen to keep that side of the player base happy. So they allowed Neversoft, what? an assistant developer in the Call of Duty franchise, to create something of their own. And what they came up with was Extinction. Um Chat, I'll say this once. Okay. Call of Duty Ghosts has truly got to be the worst Call of Duty game of all time. Period. I've never played a game that literally is just so boring on every side. A mode that was more about defending than surviving. In this game- Chat, I've, here, let me give you an example. I've bought in DLC for every single Call of Duty game since Black Ops 1, except for Ghosts. 
mode, you had to move a drill and destroy several cryptid hives. The cryptids being the alien threat of this game. Oh, As you destroyed chat. each hive, they would progressively get more and more challenging before eventually you'd have to either run back to a helicopter. Chat, escape, what was the last one in the chat if you played Extinction win. recently? This game mode still had some There's just no way. Zombies fans. I don't think and anyone plays this anymore. Happy, but it was very different, and it wasn't a horde mode at its core. <laughs> the alien just was. It was much more objective-oriented. This meant that it did manage to get its own fan base, though, and whilst that fan base was admittedly smaller than the Zombies one, it still had people that enjoyed it, and it managed to tell a pretty decent narrative over its five maps. Is Extinction better than World War II Zombies? Yes or no? I'm actually... You know what? I only played Outbreak, but maybe I would have to say yes. Better than World War II Zombies? Boy, if when you don't. Launched, it only had one experience, and it didn't really have that much depth. You could select your class, and you could upgrade several aspects of your character in the match, but there wasn't really that much to work towards. There were no high rounds to go for. It was also or just so graphically, so like, it didn't ugh. have much replayability yeah. after you completed the map once. Luckily, the with the truth. Nightfall DLC came two additional difficulties. Never played the, the DLCs, one, as well as the no hardcore idea. one. These did add a considerable amount of replayability to the mode, but the main thing that did was the armory system, which came with the release of DLC 2 Mayday. See, I literally have to no idea what this is. Upgrades with a currency called Teeth that you could acquire teeth? around the map. And with each subsequent well, DLC, they take my teeth? more and more things to buy, what as the? well as relics, which you could apply to your match to make it easier teeth? or harder, similar to the skull system seen in the Halo franchise. Whilst Extinction is not technically a zombies mode, its importance to the evolution of the franchise cannot be understated. As Several mechanics introduced here would be incorporated into later zombies maps. I guess. And they also, you know what? They also made CGI for. Oh no. Every game fans have been asking. There wasn't initially much of a backlash from zombies fans. It wasn't until Sledgehammer Games revealed that their co op mode would actually be a retread of the survival mode seen in Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops, the fans actually started getting mad. When that's, the mode was revealed, that's that's my reaction to exozombies. Equivalent of zombies, and people <laughs> went crazy. The trailer was hit with a Dude. ton of dislikes, and this led Activision to quickly assign Raven Software the job of making exozombies. Whilst many people oh, think this God. was the first time their team had made a zombies map, Raven Software were the team behind Shangri La, which is something that many people didn't realize back in the day. They had technically. I made actually a map still before, did not know so that. They kind of knew what they were doing. I guess. In hindsight, this is probably why. It makes sense, kind of. That kind of makes sense. Outbreak from uh, Exo Zombies is kind of similar to Shang in a lot of regards. They managed to get some of the smaller details right, like oh, having the M4 such a Olympia garbage story the in the starting room. But of course, oh. we didn't know that at the time. Exo Zombies is the only iteration of the mode that's locked behind DLC. <laughs> oh God, that's that's did. Thank you, Exo Zombies. You have to purchase. DLC for the game <laughs> to get access to its zombies mode. This is something that I never liked. The first map <laughs> should have been added in for free. Who would Much like that? Dude. Fans, Who would like because that? Because this first map was clearly what would have been the on disc map of the game. It has the same oh. feel to it that maps like Kino de Toten have. That simple map to get things started. Exos was bad. But it wasn't the worst. Started. I'll tell you and that. To it was bad, but it wasn't mode. the worst. That's very much the feeling. The three D printer chat, no, it's not the three D printer. The, the main innovation no. that brought the brought to the table, though, was the exo suit. Oh. The first time that was being played on a true no, vertical please. plane as well as a horizontal plane. You had an exo suit and so did the zombies. They could jump up to high areas just like you could. Just and pain. It massively changed it's pain looking at it. Played. 
but sadly, oh, Burger Town is that oh. a special type of zombie known as I'm getting PTSD. Z, you can actually tell. Suit for five seconds, you use it <laughs> no, not the one. EMZs. This removes one of the most. Chat. I'm literally having. I'm literally having exo zombies flashbacks right now. Like. You can see the pain in my eyes right now. Fun aspects oh, of this iteration no. of zombies. And it's a shame that they were added in such high quantities. After this map, Raven Software decided to showcase to everybody... Exactly Only thing I ever liked from Exos was the parkour easter egg on Descent. That was cool. And that utilized the Exos suit really well. But other than that, would I ever go play Exos Zombies again? F no baby. What you shouldn't do. Exo health. Exo health. Having a pretty solid first experience. Don't forget Exo health. The voice. DLC two map Exo infection. Exo health. Can I get Exo health in the chat? Exo health. Crippling consequence. Any Exo health? Would be turned off on the entire map. New traps. Of time <laughs> if you didn't do them. When they Carrier, advertise they new traps. By locking off entire sections of the map if you failed an oh, objective. Oh, the shark. Descent then forced a boss fight upon the player. Whether you are set up or not, on round 15, you are going into a boss fight. I like, I think Descent and Carrier were probably the two best maps. And then uh, Outbreak was pretty much there, but Burger Town. <laughs> this completely breaks the flow of the match. Out of the cell three, Cauterizer. The nature of zombies. These are the key Objectives mistakes that Raven Software dude. made. And sadly, it's Bruh. the reason why this mode is not remembered very fondly by Zombies fans. True. Other than that, though, this team did a great job at telling a fantastic and, In terms of the story, time that they had, I, yeah, I do agree. Cast, they did pretty good. Something that had been a bit of an annual tradition in Zombies at this point. It's just a shame Ooh. that it ended. <laughs> what was that? What was that cutscene? never get resolved. Will they continue the Exo Zombie storyline chat? Yes or no? Here it is, boys. Finally, after all that nonsense, we're back, dude. BO3, let's get some Drakes in the chat. The GOAT is here. The GOAT has came. The GOAT has arrived. Let's go. After wrapping up Black Ops there 2, there he is. Jimmy Zelensky's team started working let's go. on Black Ops 3. And this is where we're going to get into some rumors and speculation. So I might actually be able to know about this. Hold on a second. Let's see if I know if he's saying truth or fact or lies here. Supposedly, after the somewhat troubled development of Black Ops 2 and the negative reception that Transit received, the team were not that happy with Zelensky's leadership. Additionally, Mob of the Dead and Origins had been loved by quite a good percentage of the hardcore fanbase. Jimmy Zelensky wanted to work on Black Ops 3, and he wanted to continue that to create That is true, yeah. And he worked on developing the Zombies experience of that game until December of 2014, less than a year before Black Ops 3 was supposed to release. Uh, I think what ended up happening was, like, Activision was like, Jimmy Zelensky, homie, you have one chance. You have your last map, and that was Buried. And then after Buried, I don't think Jimmy even ever touched Black Ops 3. So chat, it's it's an F in the chat for the homie Jimmy Zelinski. Gone, but not forgotten, dude. There have been many rumors over the years that he was fired. And many saying he simply left of his own accord. However, based on how he speaks about his time at Treyarch, I think it's safe to assume that there were some people there that he didn't get on very well with. And it seems like Yeah, I think it was mainly, maybe it may have led to him being fired, but at the end of the day, when you're making a game, chat, it's like having a group project. Are you going to be able to do your group project when everyone hates you? F no, baby! Hell no! 29 months subbed. But the company Thank you so much, felt that he had ruined zombies with the release of Black Ops 2, and so did not want him leading the charge on another entry in the series. I personally do not believe that he was fired, but he was essentially ah, ushered out the door. I, they tried to push him. It's to hard quit, to say, so but felt like he yeah, essentially I guess. had no choice. That being said, though, Activision does historically like to cover it up whenever an employee is fired. True. So as to keep the company looking Jason Blundell. So it wouldn't surprise me at all. I don't, I don't think he got. I don't think he got fired though. Zelinsky was. Chat one in the chat if you think Jason Blundell got fired. I don't think he got fired. Required in his uh, I don't think he got fired. From the if company. anyone, anyway, I think it was, was Jason think it was in charge. Track started working on Black Ops Three. Under Zelinsky's vision, several big changes to zombies have been planned. We'll be able Dude, to customize big shadows of evil coming through here. Outfits for them. 
Yes, that sir. sounds pretty good, but less is known about what Zelinsky had oh. planned for the maps and game modes that we would have had access to at launch. Chat, isn't it crazy that Black Ops 3 would have had the best customizable system for, like, your character ever in Zombies? And then the game later, we got face paints. No, In the end, Black Ops 3 Zombies launched paints. with just Shadows of Evil as its playable map no. on day one. Alongside a remake of Darice named The Giant. Which was which a, a great idea for bringing back pass. The Giant. Yeah. And this is a lot less content than what Black Ops 2 launched with. A lot of people will always say quality over quantity. And that's definitely a reason. And this is the truth. And Black this is Ops the truth. It was the first Zombies title to release with a full three-year development cycle. It had an extra year of development time. And yet it somehow released. And it was worth it, dude. I think without it, Shadows of Evil might have been a poop. With less content than Black Ops 2. This, to me, is indicative of there being a big overhaul in development after Zelinsky left. This is, of course, just speculation, but based on rumors that I have ah. heard and the game we ended up getting, it's reasonable to assume that after the departure of Jimmy Zielinski in December of 2014, Black Ops 3 got a huge overhaul, which brought the game more in line mm. with Jason Blundell's vision. No, I don't agree with that, because I think what ended up happening was the origins... Dude, I don't think you guys realize this. The outcry and, like, fan appreciation of origins... Everyone was like, Origins is the greatest zombies map to ever live. I literally remember that. In Black Ops 2, Origins came out. One in the chat, if you remember that. Like, bro, Origins was like the penultimate. And, like, I think what ended up happening was Treyarch was like, okay, just go right into Black Ops 3, homie. Like, you killed it with your maps on BO2. Go right on in. And I think Zelinsky like, got ushered out way before even BO3 was in development. My Just my opinion, though. And that's why we only got one map. Shadows of Evil released in November of 2015, and the map was met with a lukewarm reception. This is the first time Which is true. launch without a map accessible to casual players at launch. The giant, giant. a remake of the classic yeah. Doris, was locked behind a purchase of the game. C chat, were you a Shadows of Evil hater at launch? One in the chat if you were. Honestly, chat... I don't think I was. I came into it with the approach of being like, actually, I want to learn it and like understand it. That was my idea, right? So I Easy wasn't a hater. And I just wanted to play it. Typically, more. don't buy things like that. And as such, Black Ops 3 Zombies did not see as much interest and was not engaged with as much as Black Ops 2 Zombies. For the casual, yes, but for YouTube, absolutely not, dude. Hardcore fans were going insane over BO3, man. Over the fans who carried over from Black Ops 2 absolutely loved yes, this entry sir. and new style. Yes, and as sir. more DLC maps were released, hype grew and grew from hardcore oh, fans. DE boys. Yo, one of the, the chat, remember DE chat. Let's go, GK. With this new style, yes, sir. That's well totally so left out. Try could always been trying to push zombies to incorporate new things like new game modes and new styles. And Black Ops 3 saw the first true success in that regard. Jason Blundell's style meant that now, also gobblegums, gobblegums, multiple different ways. Ah, fire the map, uh, we just love to go to like you always could. But now, with the focus on big epic quests that were very replayable and feel like they were almost built to speed run, it meant that you could also play every single map to complete the quest. And this was also a factor in Black Ops 2, and of course, Jimmy Zelinsky's maps did. Chat, would you guys believe me if I told you that? I was one of the first people in the world to play Der Eisendrack ever. What do you guys think? I was one of the first people in the world next to the Z House and Rados in 27. I was one of the first people in the world, boys. I played it before it came out in January, boys. What a map to have, like, played first. It Honestly, that was cool. Quests, but no it was so much fun going to Treyarch and playing these. it early. These were cinematic. It was they awesome, had music man. written for them and massive scripted sequences along with animated cutscenes. This was a whole new evolution. You got BL3 early? Zombies. Yeah, I did. I of got course, it, like, two weeks it early. It wasn't all good, though. From Aladdin, Dubai. Dubai. We love there Dubai. There was a very vocal section of the zombie community who felt that this new style was not as good. 
high round players were especially vocal about oh, how new additions to bro, the zombies formula oh my like god which allowed you to gain an advantage dude f those guys f those hardcore bo1 bo2 purists that came on to bo3 and they were like yo this game is dog water bro like come on bro that pissed me off so much back in the day. Oh my god, there were so many of y'all like that, dude. In a match with like purchasable that. <laughs> consumables, BL1, BL2 kind of affected better. the fun of going for a high round. Holy, this that was the not worst. as much of an issue when the game first launched, as the was just awful. were powerful, but not too powerful. But by the time the game season of content was over, there were gobblegums that literally. I think there was just. I think he accidentally forgot to put a clip in, dude. I I've done it. We've all done it. Video editors, shout out one in the chat. It's so low players invincible it. for several rounds, and whilst these gobblegums could be earned with in-game currency, they could also be purchased with real money. And many players True. were not happy about this and felt that it tainted the most. GK the chat, the start of the Z house. Let's get some drinks in the chat. 255. Hey, hey, hey. It was incredibly hey. hard to reach this round cap what a map. the game what a map, you, dude. But also, once you reached round 255, every single round that you survived That's after that voice. will continue to be round 255. The number will True. never go higher. This caused a lot of chat. The Garad Crovey trailer. One in the chat if you agree with me. The Garad Crovey trailer was the most hype trailer for Black Ops 3. It was way better than anything from Rev. I'm telling you, chat, there were literally, I literally have a video on my channel with over a million views. That's literally just the PPSH reaction. Like, that's how insane it was, dude. High round players to be very disappointed. I remember seeing it literally here, sitting here for the first time, and I was going, I was like, holy shit. Disappointed with this release, and a lot of them went back to Black Ops 1. The and around this stage, time, bro. I'm sure a big interest in Black Ops 1's high rounds again because of a lot of players' disappointment with this mode. The release of Revelations was also a huge peak in the Zombies community, yeah. however, even if overall interest with casual fans wasn't quite there. Chat, was Revelations the most viewed Zombies map on YouTube? Yes or no? I think it was. I think it's. When I think yes. Released, YouTuber I Noah think yes. J four five six. Noah J one hundred thousand live views. True. Which at the time it was, was a, a massive community. Dude, this goes to show I think it was also a record in video game history, dude. I think Noah was one of the very first streamers on YouTube to actually hit 100,000 people live for the Easter egg. It was insane. I'll never forget even that. Even if the it game was, was wild. not appealing to new players or casual fans, it absolutely had gripped the attention of the hardcore community. And when everyone was yep. reeling from the events of it the Revelation ending cutscene, suddenly Infinity Ward came on the scene. No! <laughs> no! No! No, come back! Black Ops Infinite Warfare Zombies released its first trailer in August of 2016, and people were just no, a bit come like, back. What on earth is going on? Prepubescent clip of JC, dude. <laughs> it was such a what? Why does JC literally look like he's twelve in that clip, bro? They called the Oh my god, dude, style. that's they so took funny. Off guard, and people were not really that interested to paint. <laughs> Additionally, it was being tied to Infinite Warfare, a game that's, that's revealed so trailer funny. got 3.9 million Bru discs. Chat, can I get a bruh in the chat just for this? There are... M chat, I've never in my lifetime have ever seen something this bad. This is a certified bruh. Lee Ross was ahead of zombies this time. I'm also chat Lee Ross, dude. I feel like our the community does Lee Ross so dirty, dude. Are we did him so dirty, man? So you know what, boys? Let's get a Drake in the chat for Lee. He did his best, chat. Honestly, he was the first person who ever did a super Easter egg, and it was actually good. 
Shout out to Lee Ross boy. Sunglasses emoji. Yes, chat. Let's get some sunglasses emojis in the chat, boys. Just the big old sunglasses, dude. Cool guys in the chat, boys. Let's go, dude. Been perfect. It was so clear. Good shit, Lee, this mode dude. Was built with Good passion. shit. I love making it. And Lee really did try his best. Favor, he absolutely he did try his persevered. best. Absolutely. Around this time, a lot of Shout out to the homie. also sent a lot of abuse his way. True. And not being that nice to him. And yeah. even sent him personal insults and death threats on Twitter, which oh. caused him to step away from social media several times. And he still... Dude! Who's sending death threats over Rave in the Redwoods? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, come on. Reddit users, like, you're sending... You're literally sending death threats over Rave in the Red... I can't do that. Still manage to maintain I can't a positive that, attitude. That's which rough. absolutely says dude, a lot about his shame on During the community who did that. Life cycle, dude, shame. For the first time in history, a Absolute Call of Duty game shame. received a DLC after its season was over. Zombies Chronicles was announced, and it wasn't even just a DLC at this point. It was a massive expansion pack. Chat. Chronicles. Let's get a W in the chat, dude. Let's put that W in the chat, boys. Bringing big W remastered here. fan favorite big maps w. to Black Ops 3 Zombies. This big W. was a huge deal for the franchise as well Massive as the community. W. Its reveal saw Jason Blundell literally going to a medium-sized YouTuber's house, which caused their channel... Wait, 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 wait. Did he call JC a medium-sized YouTuber? Wait, hold on. Deal for the franchise as well as the community. <laughs> its reveal saw Jason Blundell literally going to a medium sized YouTuber's house, which caused their channel to blow up. <laughs> Why does he have to say it like that? <laughs> dude, literally, JC's face right here is literally my face right now, dude. Why does he have to say it like that? Medium-sized YouTuber, let's go! Wow, dude, man's got And the DLC on. is something that fans had only dreamed of. For oh, that's years. so funny! A fifth DLC pack is something that had become that's a meme so in the community. Yeah, and no one ever thought that it would actually happen, and it did. Fans rejoiced, and the pack. Chat. I'll never forget. There was a moment in my life where I was really depressed because I was like, "Man, will we ever have that BL3 flare?" And I remember I was talking to JC and initially when I was talking to him, he was like, yeah, you know, I don't know. And then all of a sudden there was a point where I talked to him and he was like, oh, he was like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, why do you act all like, why are you sounding like all happy right now? And he was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and I was just like, well, there's, uh, is there something you're not telling me? He's, he's like, oh, I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe something's coming out. And I'm like, Dude, <laughs> like you, I'll never forget that. He was just trying to like, he's trying to like avert me from Chronicles. And I was like, bruh. But boys, the Chronicles event, if you look back at the trailers, that was heat. That was fire. It ended up being the best-selling DLC on the PlayStation ever. Store. Ever. Year. An absolute high Crazy. point for zombies. But this, however, absolutely crippled Infinite Warfare Zombies. After this point, the new maps released for that game weren't even marketed. Its third Bruh. DLC map, Attack of the Radioactive Thing, didn't even get a trailer oh. until the day it came out. And the final map, The Beast from Beyond, is generally oh. considered to be one of the worst maps ever created by a large portion of the fan base. F in the chat, dude. IW's DLC 3 and 4 got absolutely shafted. However, it had one gigantic redeeming factor. After completing all of the Easter eggs in that game, <laughs> the Super Easter Egg Director's Cut Let's mode, go. which allowed you to play all of the maps with loads of points and your weapons already pack a punch in the mystery wheel. If you then completed all of the maps again, you'd unlock a secret boss fight against Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles, still to this day, the greatest boss fight in all of Call of Duty Zombies, period. Shout out to Lee Ross on that, boys. Let's get a drink Please. in the chat, dude. The true villain Shout out to of the Infinite whole. Warfare Zombies Let's go, and unlock the real Let's ending go. of the mode. Let's Fans go. absolutely loved Let's it. Go, and to dude. many, this is when Infinite Warfare Zombies redeemed itself. This is when a lot of players Which is so strange, really because the map is really map. bad. And this is when they started to realize the mode wasn't as bad as many people thought. 
However, another mode was already just around the corner, and it certainly... Oh, God, please help us. ...of Infinite Warfare. Zone. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Guys, listen to the tone change in the sound, dude. Listen, listen. ...already just around the corner, and it certainly did not have the light tone of Infinite Warfare. Zone. Hey, listen. On the 20th of July 2017, oh, World War II Zombies no. was revealed to the world, and people straight away were enthralled. A privilege that Infinite War- Dude, it was so interesting at the beginning. That was- and like, Final Reich was a pretty good map. It's just like, all oh, the DLC, War. Similar dude. to World at War Zombies mode way back in 2008. Big this mode oh, also boys. advertised itself heavily as being called Nazi Zombies. The word Nazi had been dropped from zombies a after Nazi? only four- Is that a Nazi zombie right there, chat? Guys. One in the chat if you can't remember every single one of the zombie maps on World War II Zombies. Maps. And I'm the a swastika was I'm phased a out shortly afterwards. I'm a wonder. So that the game would not have to be censored in Germany. However, here it was, back, and it seemed to capture people's attention because overall, World War II Zombies had a lot more interest in it than Infinite Warfare did. Which pains my soul. That pains my soul. Dude, no, no, no. Guys, the wait, wait, hold on a second. Look at the purple Black Ops 4. Compared to World War II? Oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. I did not know we were in such a dire situation until I saw this Google trend. Oh, my chat. GG. GG. And not just from Zombies fans. GG. Overall, this oh mode saw a lot more interest Lord. from casual players as well. And was actually more successful than Black Ops 4 Zombies, the game that followed this. Which I'm literally in shock. Chat, you know what? World War II Zombies? Fair play. Fair play. Let's get some clappers in the chat. Fair play. GG, dude. Fair play. You know what World War II Zombies? Fair play, dude. GG. Which is something that many G -G. people don't actually realize. <coughs> this time around, the mode was being created by someone called Cam. Hey, maybe World War II Zombies is not that bad, Much dude. of a part you until know? the game's DLC season. The first map's development was primarily led by Glenn Schofield, one of the co-founders of the company. He had formerly worked on the Dead Space franchise and is a huge fan of the Resident Evil series, two franchises that very clearly influenced the direction Dude. in which he wanted World War II Zombies to take. This game turns up the gore to 11 and focuses massively on jump scares and a horror... So it turns up to the gore to 11, he doesn't show the gore? <laughs> Theme. Thank you, YouTube! Thank you, YouTube! A lot of people complained about so many enemy types being featured at once. However, this balance GG. of enemy types is something that Trag would end up adopting in the chaos maps of Black Ops 4 as well as Cold War Zombies. Another common complaint thrown at this mode is the abundance of jump scares, which... <laughs> <laughs> Chat, you guys remember getting like 12 jump scares by like round six on World War II Zombies, bro? Yeah, me too. Dude. Was in all fairness subsequently toned down in later maps. And it also got criticism. On Final Reich, system. it's now, so typically in bad. Zombies, the dude. Juggernaut was featured, which would increase the player's health it when acquired. So it would bad. only ever be lost when the player is put into the dying state. However, in World War II Zombies, you now acquire armor. This armor means that after taking three hits, if you hit again, instead of no, going not down, the you're armor path. If you lose no. four armor plates and are then hit again, you will subsequently no. be put into the dying state. This armor can be repurchased from an armor station. However, the price increases every single time. It's guys, you know what the torture path did? It actually warned us, warned us a voyage of despair early. So you know what? Maybe World War II zombies isn't actually that bad. Bought. Maybe it's Some actually not that bad, chat. Found this I don't know. Very frustrating and understandably Maybe it's not so, that bad. as they were used to the old mechanics. However, others found that the game was balanced around this health system, and so the zombies were not as aggressive as they would be in other titles. Development of the DLC maps in World War II season oh. was very troubled. The yes, team had worked sir, on an was. Egypt map, which they were forced to scrap. 
This map would have been the first DLC app in the season, however apparently it was too similar to Black Ops 4's map, 9. And as such- Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 hold on, you got that confused. Because chat, no, 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 they, they made Tortured Path all different because of Voyage, not 9. Because of the literal map, I was just Activision saying. Activision forced the team to scrap it and throw something else yeah, together no, no, instead. No, no. That's this wrong. Meant that That's wrong. They ended up releasing the darkest shore. <laughs> oh small no! And basic. Pretty solid experiences. Oh, no, I think most no, fans no, would admit. Boys. However, DLC oh, three no, changed no, the no. a lot. Instead of one new map, we got a new game mode called the Tortured Path. You had to survive ten rounds on three different maps whilst completing objectives as you did. It had its own separate progression system where you ended up dealing more damage the more you played the mode. However, this is when people went from being barely interested in the mode to not interested at all. To non-existence. Chat, I'll never forget when people were streaming World War II Zombies DLC 4. I don't even remember the name. The Frozen Dawn. Bro, nobody cared. Nobody cared. People load this mode. But like literally nobody cared. Fight. And then Fortnite came out. <laughs> oh, Fortnite. Sadly, <laughs> players mostly left the game from there. Oh, no, not Fortnite. And the final Fortnite. map was barely publicized. No, it like Fortnite, No one really please. cared when it came out. However, this still... Hey, Fortnite? Point of Fortnite? That was yet to come. Wait, Fortnite? A step too far. Black Ops 4 had a troubled development. It would feature four DLC maps all focused on chaos. And then after that, in the second DLC season of content, it would focus entirely on ether. It would finish up our beloved story and give our characters a satisfying conclusion. However, due to the terrible bug infested launch of Black Ops 4 Zombies and the community's divided opinions on the new gameplay oh. and the chaos storyline, Activision quickly changed their minds, telling Trag to instead wrap up the story in one season of content. The team were, of course, not happy about this. Oh, it's just nothing but pain, chat. It really is. And apparently morale was at an all-time low. This only got worse, however. Now, Trag's next game was originally supposed to release in November of 2021. However, Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software have been working on their own Call of Duty game to release the year prior in November of 2020. The two teams, however, had been- Chat, do you think that Black Ops Cold War would be dead without Warzone? I wonder, because seeing as how World War II zombies outperform BO4 zombies, I genuinely wonder like if Black Ops Cold War would have even had a chance without Warzone. It really makes me think about that sometimes. Been constantly arguing with each other and could not collaborate successfully. So Activision forced Treyarch to still finish up the DLC season of Black Ops 4 oh. and then take over development of what we now know as Call of Duty Cold War and finish it in only 18 months. This understandable- Chat, Black Ops 4 after launch, I think might have been the game with the least amount of like actual huh how do i say this like black ops 4 after launch you could literally instantly tell that it just wasn't supported you know what i mean i've never played a game where it's like it was just dlc after dlc but truly you could tell that there was no force behind it so boys, led to the final the two chat, maps of dude. Black Ops 4 Zombies feeling chat. quite rushed and thrown together. Mm -hmm. They did not have proper animated cutscenes and seemed to be built off of mostly reused assets from other maps and modes. This truth. iteration of Zombies is seen by many. The, the, the Thunder Gun Jet, the Thunder Gun Zipline, boys, let's go! Worst one the track has come out with. Yep. Not only were many of the core fundamentals of the mode, like perk systems, completely changed, but also a lot of the maps felt hollow and they were built from reused assets. Oh, it makes Around me this cry! Time, Jason Lundell made the decision to leave Treyarch. Just like the departure of Jimmy Zielinski, not much is known about the reason for his exit. However, it was under very similar circumstances. Jimmy Zielinski had left shortly after releasing a mode that was considered subpar by many. And the same happened with Jason Blundell. The similarities are undeniable, and the quality of Black Ops 4 has to play a part in Jason Blundell's reason to leave, at least. Chat, so basically what I know ended up happening to Jimmy Zielinski after he left is he made a zombies game that was like 
like it didn't have a lot of budget and i remember watching the trailer for it and i i guess that's what he was doing i don't know what he does now but chad it's like what happened to blundell chad did he just give up where is that man like what do you guys think chat what do you guys think Jason Bundell is doing? Jimmy is working on Rainbow Six? Oh, that would make sense, dude. Chat. I don't know. Because, like, I remember it took a while for Jimmy Zelinski to even put out that zombies trailer that he did. <laughs> he makes that Popeyes now. I don't know, dude. We'll see. We'll see. In some way. Bundell's in the dark. Zombies ether, did dude, not yeah. return in 2019's Modern Warfare, which was the first time since 2013 that a new Call of Duty had not had a zombies mode. And a lot of people felt this break was good. It let the mode have a rest, and this meant that when a new mode was announced, people were going to be absolutely. He's in the Twitter ready. shadow realm, bro. He's with me, dude. <laughs> Chat. Jason Bundell and I are actually on the same wavelength on Twitter. We we actually dude we're we're actually in this we're in the same universe. Dude. <laughs> here it is, boys! Cold War, we made it. It was a journey, chat, but we're here. We're here. The two non-track titles hadn't been loved. Big W in the chat. Track title had been disliked as well, and now Jason Blundella left. We're Many here. people thought that Activision might end up just scrapping the mode and focusing on... As far as his IMDB goes, BO4 is the last thing Bundell worked on. Well, again, like I said, it took Zelensky years for him to actually come out and be like, I'm doing something new now after Black Ops 2. So it's probably going to be the same thing with Bundell. It's probably going to be years until we figure out. Battle Royale being the third mode in Call of Duty instead. However... Cold War Zombies was revealed on the 30th of September, 2020. Dude. Chat, is Cold War still good? Yes or no, dude? Let's get a rating out of 10, boys. Put a number in the chat out of 10, dude. I still think it's good. I still think it has merit. But I know a lot of people on YouTube think that it's garbage. So, it's hard to say. It genuinely is hard to say. Like... I'll be honest, boys, I haven't played a lot of Firebase Z. I think I've played more Outbreak, actually, than Firebase Z. But is Cold War Zombies still good? Yeah, answer the poll. I'm genuinely curious as to what you guys have to say. Less than two months before the game's release date. Mm -hmm. Many people have began to worry that the mode had had some developmental troubles, however, this time around. But this was not the case. No, actually Sergio not at all. had been developing yeah. their own Zombies mode. And when Trike were tasked with taking over, the two teams actually merged together so as to speed up development. So Cold War Zombies was and is being Lexus developed. Lexus race to round 100 on Firebase Z. Oh, wait. Dude, round 100 on Firebase Z is literally just... You hope to God the fucking Ray K works, dude. <laughs> By a mixture of two different teams. But development... Chad, also, when's DLC 2, bruh? It's almost fucking May. Hello? I thought we were going to get a trailer soon. What's going on with that? Being led by Corky Lemical, someone who worked his way up in Treyarch since World at War to get to where he is now. His approach shows Mech very clear similarities yeah. to Jimmy Zielinski's vision back in World at War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. I, the wind is true. That's a great point. Time is a massive evolution of the core gameplay. Track this time around did not deliberately change everything like Jason Blundell did with Black Ops 4. Corky instead. Chat is Cold War Zombies mechanics better than Black Ops 3? Is it are like kill streaks and crafting and all that? Is that better than Gobble Guns from BL3? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I don't know. It's hard to say. It. Instead of removing the main four perks like Blundell did, Corky instead allowed the player to upgrade them. It's hard to say. Remove the perk limit. Streamer, do you have the info on Call War Zombies? Yeah, boys. DLC 2, boys. Listen to this, boys. It's actually going to release May 42nd, dude. May 42nd, chat. Make sure to write that down. That's the release date of DLC 2, May 42nd. I actually know, dude. Clip it in the chat. 
allowing players to have May forty second, dude. He also added in Holy a weapon shit, tier dude. system. Where in your trailer, match, dude, the trailers today. Your weapon, the trailers coming from out red today. Rarity to a legendary orange rarity. Yeah. Cold War Zombies took the mode back to basics by having a heavy focus on gameplay and letting players. Well, so you can literally get banned for playing over round fifty on PC, dude. Oh my god, I heard about that. Chat, I genuinely think that if I load up on Cold War Zombies right now, there's a high probability that I'm just going to be banned. Is that the case, chat? One in the chat if you think I'm banned on Cold War. I'm probably... Dude, I'm going to load in. I'm probably banned off the game. Bro, I haven't played in like three weeks. They'll be like, ah, let's just ban them. <laughs> let's, just get, let's just get rid of them. Enjoy the it's new fixed now? systems. Easter egg quests were a huge part of the mode bug. from Black Ops 3 up to Black Ops 4, and here they have very clearly been de-emphasized. They are still there, but they're easy to complete and are considerably shorter now. Instead, Shrek added in things like a new X-Fill mechanic and even new game. Chat, there's a reason why Easter eggs are easier. Guys, remember that video, right, where I said that only 2% of people have completed a zombie's Easter egg? Two! Game it's like better a, than two! The first new it's game better than zombies two! That has actually been relatively successful by allowing the player to explore several open world maps whilst completing several objectives that manage to maintain the fun of the mode. Cold War yes, Zombies sir. sees the mode, remember where it came from, and remember what makes it so fun. And it has remember? seen the most success that the mode has had since the release of Black Ops 2 Zombies in 2012. And Activision even promoted it in Warzone, the popular Call of Duty Battle Royale mode. To I love how that's his statement, he said. Dude, Activision even promoted Zombies in Warzone, even though Zombies has been around for literally over a decade more than Warzone. That's so funny. That's so funny. As well. I Looking find that the future, so then, funny. It seems like Sledgehammer Games might get a chance to follow up oh, on World War no, II Zombies this year. No, probably, as there are no, many rumors that will have no. a new mode coming out. And there's also... N -O. A N -O. Please, no. The future God, is please, no. And I'm gonna be no, the future is dark. I'll be here every single step of the way discussing it with you. Thank you for watching. This is Zombie Who signing Dude, out. Dude, what a great know. video, boys. Zombie Who, make sure to check him out. Drake in the chat, not Dying Light DLC, any percent, Noah J456.